What can you do in Bad Kissingen in northern Bavaria in early summer? Well, the best thing you can do is probably come to the 4x4 Abenteuer und Allrad exhibition. It is the largest show for campers and motorhomes, all terrain vehicles <laughs> for living in, in the world. And uh, this is one, this is from a uh, German manufacturer, Völker and uh, as you can see it's on a Mercedes basis and let's go on over get some of the details about it you're not gonna get the price if you want to know the price right the company and so, so everything's built to order in this case this is on a Sprinter 316 CDI obviously it's 4x4 everything here is 4x4 the power is always a curious thing it's got 200 watt solar panels plus a charger uh, and a inverter 120 litres fresh water, 80 litre um, of uh, grey water and 60 litres for the black water. Now let's go inside. Oh, I'll point out the uh, there's the garage. Relatively small garage. So what do you think the seating arrangements are going to be like at the back? Well, if you said a U-shaped one, you were right. I haven't been here before, of course I've seen so many vans that I knew that. Now you've got a lot of space here, obviously it's a 4x4 vehicle, it's designed to go to places where there aren't any roads, so it's got uh, maybe not quite the luxury you'd see in a uh, Cartago or Humor or something like that, but it's designed for a different purpose, it's designed to be rugged. And uh, so let's have a look at some of the other features, such as this fantastic light up here. I really like a big light in the roof. Now you can pull yourself up, up onto the roof and watch the lions and the giraffes. Although I'm not so certain it's a good idea watching lions. I shall tell you a story about somebody who went uh, lion watching. Anyway, that'll be in another video. There's something to look forward to. There you've got your electronics. <coughs> and you'd obviously be wanting to keep an eye on them. Um, uh, although, if you're in somewhere like Africa, then at least uh, you're probably getting plenty of sunlight and thus plenty of power. Fridge, freezer above it, and below it, we've got. your hanging space. Keep your suit in there just in case you get invitation to see the president of some country and uh, right as you come in in fact you come through the, the uh, area here which appears to be that which is used for a shower. So rather good use of space in the way. Let's have a look through here which will be I imagine the toilet. And, as we can see, there's also a uh, sink in there which comes down and there's the toilet on the, uh, on the ground where you'd expect the toilet to be and you've got a bit of storage above it. There you've got your kitchen, got a bit of prep space down there, but um, I think you probably have to use the table for preparing most food. Okay, the two chairs here, it doesn't really offer a great deal of room, but as I said earlier, this is an expedition vehicle. Oh. Uh, didn't mention behind the uh, window at the back. I, I probably look at the window, but other people, or most people, would be probably looking at the telly. Now, things like this are built to order. So you decide what you want. So whatever it is you, you want or need, you you decide. 
so that's why you can't really get a price when asking for something like this. So, have a look at the shower, but we'll keep, close the window so we don't want the insects getting in. Alright, there's the garage. So, do you like that van or not? If you like it, then there's plenty more from this show which I filmed. This company on Mercedes, on uh, Man, on VW, and possibly on other bases as well. So, you can see other vans in other films. Thank you.